Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. We have square root of 5x plus x equal to 10. And this question is asking us to find the value of x, right? Okay, the first thing is this. Square root of x should be made the subject. Okay, and then we have 10 minus x. Now, the next target is to remove this um, square root from here. And we can only do that by squaring it. So we're going to have square root of um, 5x squared. And then since we have squared this, on the right, we also have 10 minus x squared, right? To square this as well. Now, this and this can now cancel. Okay, so okay, so here we have 5x to be equal to 10 minus x squared. But remember this if you have a minus b squared, this will give a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, right? I hope you guys can recall this. Now, apply this on the right. So I have 5x here. Then equal to a squared now becomes 10 squared. Then 2ab becomes 2 times 10 times b, which is x. Okay, let's have this in brackets. Then plus x squared, right? Okay, so that's from here. We have 5x to be equal to 100 minus 20x plus x squared. Now, let us arrange this better. We have x squared minus 20x. Then this is um, turning to negative 5x. Then this is plus 100. And the whole of this will be equal to 0. Because I have moved everything to the same side, right? Okay. Okay, so from here, we have x squared minus 25x plus 100 to be equal to 0. Now, we can solve this very quickly. And what method do we apply to solve this? Okay, so we can solve this using factorization method. And we can equally decide to use it to solve it using um, the formula method. But let's factorize. So, to factorize this, what two numbers do we multiply to get um, 100? And we will subtract subtract or add them to get minus 25. I think the two numbers will be minus 20 and minus 5. Okay? Because minus 20 times minus 5 will give us plus 100. And minus 20 minus 5 will give minus 25. So in place of minus 25x, I will put this to. So I have x squared minus 20x minus 5x plus 100 to be equal to 0. Now group these two and factorize. x is common. We have x minus 20. Close this. And then on the other side, we have minus 5 as common factor. Here we have x. 100 divided by minus 5 is minus 20, and this will be equal to 0. Now, this means that um, we can factor out x minus 20. So, x minus 20 is a common factor. And then here, x will be left. And here, we have minus 5. Close this, and let everything be equal to 0. Now, if we continue then we can apply zero product rule i believe you can recall that 
zero products rule now when do you apply this rule you can only apply this rule when you have two factors to multiply to get zero because this times this is giving zero meaning that either of it or either of them should be equal to zero okay so i will say x minus 20 is equal to zero or x minus 5 is equal to zero from here x is equal to 0 plus 20 or x is equal to 0 plus 5 our x is equal to 20 or x is equal to 5 now let's bring the two solutions together we have um x sorry this is 20 we have x1 to be equal to 20 and then our x2 to be equal to 5 but do you think these two values of x will satisfy the equation the original equation is square root of 5x plus x equal to 10 by looking at this you will see that one of the values is not satisfying now let's try x1 we'll be having 5 multiplied by x is what 20 let's try 20 first so plus um 20 x is still 20 over here now will this give us 10 never because this is the same thing as square root of 100 5 times 20 is 100 plus 20 now square root of 100 is what 10 plus 20 and this is giving us 30 remember we are not having 30 on the right hand side so we can conclude that x1 which is equal to 20 is not satisfying but then if you try out x2 um, to be equal to 5 then we are going to have in place of um, 5 i write it in place of x i multiply by 5 again and then plus 5 because x is still 5 i believe this will give us 5 at the end of the day this is the same thing this will give us 10 on the right hand side we have square root of 25 plus 5 right this implies that we are having 5 plus 5 because square root of um, 25 is 5 and this 5 will appear at the end of the day we are having um 10 and this is what we had on the right hand side right look at 10 over there so we can conclude that x2 let me show it x2 which is equal to 5 is the only value of x that satisfies the equation thank you for watching